Today we are going to talk about Ansible troubleshooting, specifically about this command has to be run under the root user message. This fatal error message happens when we are trying to execute a module that requires more privilege during module execution. These circumstances are usually related to Ansible Playbook or Ansible Configuration. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. The best way of talking about Ansible troubleshooting is to jump in a live demo to show you practically the this command has to be run under the root user message and how to solve it. In this demo I'm going to show you how to install, for example, AirSync package. Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple and simple playbook to reproduce and solve a problem. First of all, let's begin our play with a name troubleshooting under the root user that is going to target host all of my inventory let me set uh, become statement to false this is quite important for this demo and on the task list uh, only one task so named rsync installed just verify that rsync utility is installed on target system using ansible.builtin dot package the name of the package is rsync and the state must be present on the target system so package ansible module is quite useful when uh, you know that one package will have the same name under all the distribution so you don't need to deal with yaml that uh, apt on uh, Debian and Ubuntu or Zipper in SUS Linux. Another note I explicitly set become to force for this demo and will be quite impactful on the job result. But let's move on on the terminal. Let's execute the Ansible code with Ansible playbook command. Let me specify also inventory file, my case under demo inventory and then the ansible playbook code that we just saw together in the editor the execution will be very fast just the time to connect to the target machine and boom we have ansible fatal error this command has to be run under the root user so how the things work uh, usually Ansible is connecting to the target host with a normal user, in my case I'm using DevOps user, and then we can choose to switch to root on demand only if we really need. So this is basically the concept. And apparently we are not root user and only root user can install packages. We could solve this issue in our Ansible playbook code. Just uh, switch the statement become from false to true. It enables the privilege escalation after connection to the target machine. In this way, we are able to execute all the root related tasks. And this is quite impactful. Let's see if our change solve the problem. So let's execute together the Ansible playbook. Let me specify the inventory as before and also the file. I'm usually saving the troubleshooting with a different uh, file name so you can reproduce the error as well as the fix. So this time Ansible is going to have a different result. I'm expecting OK status or change it. It depends if the utility is installed or not. Yes, we have OK status, which means rsync was already present in our target system. It's quite common, this stuff. 
But the most important thing is that from the security point of view, try to use the less privilege as possible in your Ansible playbook and use uh, set the become method only when really, really, really is needed. And this is a good advice from any security point of view. Now you know how to troubleshoot the Ansible message. This command has to be run under the root user and how to fix it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general, keep me in touch with me. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.